Josh, welcome to Warsaw Football Club. Thank you. I know you've been here a few weeks training with the boys, but first impressions of the place and the people? Yeah, great. Absolutely great. I think, you know, everyone's been really kind, everyone's been really nice welcoming me in. And I think the training facilities are actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, and occasionally we have to, we go to Lily Shore, which is good, but I think it's a it's a good place. I like the fact that it's all based in part of obviously the stadium, but the training grounds all based in you have lunch here and all that kind of stuff. It's good. I enjoy it. You've been out alone for a, a few times to a, a few different clubs. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story. Obviously, you've been Bournemouth since you were 12 years old. Yeah, I've been at Bournemouth since I've been 12. Um, and then just went through the system there, got a youth team contract and all that kind of stuff. And then played when I was 17 under Paul Groves and Sean Brooks, played uh, a few games for them. And then Eddie Al came in and I just started going out alone, really. So I've been on, I think this is my 10th loan. I think if I work out right from, from youth team to now, so I've been on a f fair few loans. But I enjoy, enjoy the, most of them anyway. Uh, what sort of player do you describe yourself? We know you're a midfielder, but what, what style, how would you describe yourself? Um, I'd like to think of myself as more attacking, mm -hmm. attacking minded anyway. Mm -hmm. So more, you know, passing forward, going forward, creating things. That's the way I'd like to think of myself. I don't score as many goals as I'd like, but that's how I'd like to see myself. Uh, like you say, you came up through the ranks at Bournemouth. Just how much has changed and transformed there? Because you've obviously seen it from nearly going out of business to being in the Premier League now. Yeah, crazy really, crazy really. I've, I've been there since you know the administration days where they saved it on the last day, and then you know all the way up to the Premiership now. So it's 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 a good place. The the place the place itself, Bournemouth, is really nice and the club's good. So it deserves to have a good club in that in the. T city, well, the town as well, because it's really nice. So you've joined here till at least the end of the season with a view to a permanent move. Do you set yourself any targets? What do you want to achieve in the next few months? Um, I'd like to just impress, really, settle in, get to know the lads and just impress people. And, you know, if I play my normal stuff and hopefully do my normal things, then that'll be enough to see me another contract next year. But I'd like to just Im impress everybody and make a good impression on people. Quite often when young players go out and loan from Premier League clubs, it's to struggle in size to try and help them you know, get away from danger or to try and pick up yeah. their form. At least here you're coming into a club that are doing quite well in League One. Does that help? You're coming into an atmosphere that seems quite... Yeah, every, everyone seems like, you know, together. They want to they wanna do well and obviously they're in a fantastic position to do well. So it's, it's a different one. I think the only other loan I went to where they were doing well was Bristol Rovers yeah. and they were second in the conference at the time. And then eventually they went up that season. But no, this is... it's a lot better to come into a place where it's flying. I don't expect to be involved every game. I don't expect to even, you know, get a game for a few weeks because why would the manager change things? But I think that um, what they're doing here is, is brilliant and I want to be a part of it. So that's why I'm down there. Like I say, a tap-minded midfielder and I think the philosophy that the club are trying to build, the brand of football that Sean's now taken on this season, must be attractive to young players who like to come to a club and they know it's not going to be you know, route one football, you're going to try and get the Yeah, ball. exactly, exactly. And uh, I mean, it sounds weird, but every footballer might say it, but my main strengths are with the ball. <laughs> so if I don't have the ball, I'm largely ineffective throughout the whole game. So, you know, to definitely to come to a place where they want to play football and they want to play the right way is, is much more appealing to, to people like myself than, you know, just shelling it from the back and all that kind of stuff.